When Jesus spoke Matthew 23 23, he was not only talking to the Pharisees he was also talking to us. Yes us. In fact, the passage from Matthew 23 from verse 1 to 34 was specifically addressed to us. Notice that the biblical passage in Matthew 23:23 started with Matthew 23:1, which clearly says, Then spake Jesus to the multitude, and to his disciples. So, if you consider yourself to be a disciple of Jesus then he is telling you to not neglect the tithe. So when anybody claims that Matthew 23:23 was only addressed to the Pharisees and not us, then that is a lie from hell that will carry them to hell if they don't repent. Jesus said in Matthew 5:17 that his words would not pass away. His words are eternal. He said we are to tithe and his words are eternal. We cannot dismiss his tithe command. That certainly is a distorted and perverted view of the command found in Matthew 23, Michael. No, it is not. Jesus was clearly speaking to his disciples throughout Matthew 23, from verse 1 and all the way to verse 34. Let's just examine the verses in Matthew 23 and see who it was Jesus was speaking to, shall we? Now, in the first 12 verses we see Jesus indeed speaking to the crowds and to his disciples. What we see in those verses is Jesus warning the crowds and disciples to beware of actions being performed by the scribes and Pharisees. Actions that certainly do not show any godly character at all. Jesus was clearly warning them to be cautious of such religious leaders. And yes, there is application there for us today. We should beware of those religious leaders who will not lead by example. We should be wary of those religious leaders who take on titles to make themselves look important. But, once we arrive at verse 13, Jesus changes his focus from the disciples and the crowd and clearly directs it at the scribes and Pharisees. Do you believe the disciples of our Lord to be Pharisees? Do you consider yourself a Pharisee? Of course not. The Pharisees were lost. Jesus even said that they were. But you said that all of Matthew 23, from verse 1 to verse 34, is speaking to us. Verse 13 is clearly included in that passage. So, by your logic, the disciples, and all those people in the crowd were scribes and Pharisees. But notice what Jesus said in that verse. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. So, by your own words, you have stated that Jesus' disciples, and yourself too, since you say the words of Matthew 23 were also directed at us as his disciples, were, and are, hypocrites. Isn't that what Jesus said in several verses in Matthew 23 13 through 34? He did, but... Let's go on. Jesus said that those he was addressing were shutting up the windows of heaven against men. In other words, they were making it impossible for men to have a chance to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. And by their rules and regulations, they themselves would not be able to enter themselves. Do you seriously believe that the disciples, you and I included, have no chance of entering heaven? No, but... Let's continue. Verse 14. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees! hypocrites. There's that pesky word again. For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Again, if I am to understand your view of Matthew 23, verses 1 through 34, you believe that the disciples, this would include you and I, rob widows' houses. I can't recollect a single time I have ever robbed a widow. Can you? No, but... Verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye come past sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So you really believe that the disciples, students of the Lord Jesus Christ's ministry, were winning people over to who? Satan? After all, the Bible says those Jesus was speaking to were making proselytes to hell, and you say Jesus was speaking to the disciples. You don't and the disciples were swearing by the temple, its altars and its gold? No wonder Jesus was so angry with them. But wait, you say he was speaking to us too. Shame on you for swearing by the gold of the temple. But I don't. And here's the verse you hang on. Verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! 
for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Do you tithe mint, anise and cumin, Michael? I don't. No, I don't tithe those things, I tithe money. Money is our bartering system today. Funny, Jesus said you should be tithing mint, anise and cumin. Says so right there in that verse. After all, you are his disciple, are you not? And you said he was speaking to his disciples, did you not? Yes, but... Moving on. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Extortion is speaking of theft. Excess is speaking of lack of self-control. Do these apply to you, Michael? I am not an extortioner. But you said Jesus was speaking to us, Michael. If he was speaking to us, you are an extortioner and you lack self-control. Or, are you calling the Lord Jesus a liar? Jesus is not a liar. You are twisting my words. I haven't twisted anything, Michael. I have been consistently quoting what you said. You said that Jesus was speaking to us in Matthew 23, verses 1 through 34. Yes, but, you... Only a few more verses to cover. Let's continue. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. So, Michael, is your appearance to be righteous actually a smoke screen that hides ungodliness? Look! I have heard just about ye. Now, see, because you make the outside of the cup clean, but have done nothing to purify your heart, Jesus say you cannot escape damnation. Michael, are you sure Jesus was speaking to the disciples? Because if he was, this means that not one of us can ever be saved, not even you. I didn't come here to be ridiculed. And it wasn't my intention to ridicule you either. I simply used the scriptures that you claim were Jesus' words to us and showed you why they are not to us. You, Michael, need to change your theology. You need to stop relying on your own opinion and allow the Holy Spirit to speak through the word. If you do, you will see that Jesus was not telling us to tithe any more than he was calling you a robber of widows' houses.